I've always been interested in pregnancy. Pregnancy is an absolute miracle. I mean, how can, how can a woman have really a baby that's really half foreign to her and carry that baby for nine months and not reject it like she might reject a transplanted organ that isn't perfectly matched to herself. So I've always been interested in the immune system and in pregnancy from that perspective. Preterm labor is, was a natural um, next step for me. Infections are something that we're very interested in because they can cause these early preterm births. And we're trying to understand how we can detect infection-associated uh, preterm births really early when we have a chance to intervene and treat the mother with antibiotics or other treatments when it makes sense and when it can actually prevent the preterm birth. I hope that we have discovered something very interesting in the vaginal fluid of women who are destined to have a preterm birth. I hope that we have discovered that certain signatures from either bacteria or the immune response or the byproducts of those bacteria that we call metabolites might be able to predict a preterm birth well in advance of that preterm birth. I hope month, two months, or even three months before the preterm birth. In 10 years, I hope that we have an effective treatment for preterm birth. I hope we can uh, take a sample from a woman early in pregnancy and be able to predict what will happen with her pregnancy and what will happen with her child and be able to intervene in a meaningful way early on in pregnancy so that all pregnant women can really have that potential for having an intact family and, and a hope for a healthy baby. I really enjoy this group of GAPS investigators that we are interacting with now. They are all coming at the problem with uh, different ideas, different strengths, different technologies, and I think the interaction that we are having with them is exactly what you need to stimulate further questions.